Do you want to grow some jaman jama in your garden this year and you're not sure how to go about it? In today's video, I will be breaking down for you how to get started with growing jaman jama in the USA. We're going to talk about like when to plant the seeds. We're going to talk about the soil conditions, the best soil conditions for growing jaman jama. We're going to talk about lighting. Does jaman jama need full sunlight? Can it do well in the shade? We're going to talk about temperature requirements so that you know whether you know the zone that you are in can support jaman jama growth and we are also going to talk about how to water your jaman jama so that uh, your jaman jama can do well at the end of the video I will share with you a bonus tip that will help you prevent curly leaves you know how your jaman jama can develop aphids problems and the leaves will be curly like that I'm going to share with you what you can do to prevent curly leaves for your country in Jama Jama. But if we're just meeting for the first time, hello and welcome. I am Yaje and I teach people how to grow some of these culturally important African vegetables out here in the diaspora. So if you're excited for today's topic, go ahead and click on the like button and let's get started. The first thing we're going to talk about is when is the best time to get started with the seeds? The best time to get started with your jaman jama seeds will be when it has passed the last frost date for your zone. This information can easily be found by googling your zone or your area and last frost date. The last frost date is the last time that the temperature will go down to freezing. If you do take your seeds outside when it has not passed this last frost date and then all of a sudden you get winter like weather, it is either going to kill your seedlings or your seeds might not germinate well. If you are in zone 9a, right around the middle of March is a good time. Around March the 15th or between you know March the 10th and March the 20th will be a per the perfect time to get um, started with your jaman jama seeds outdoors. The second thing that I want us to talk about is the best soil to use for starting your jaman jama seeds. Again, we are going to direct sow our jaman jama seeds outdoors. If you have an existing garden, which means you know you've been cultivating vegetables in your garden already, what you want to do is just soften the soil again, loosen the soil and then add some compost or some manure to the soil because your jaman jama likes loose soil, well-drained soil and soil that is rich in nitrogen. You can get that nitrogen from cow manure, from chicken compost or by adding some kind of slow release fertilizer. If you're just starting with gardening and you're just setting up a garden right now and you want to grow your jaman jama and you need to go and buy soil, the soil that you buy is going to depend on the type of gardening that you're doing. So if you're doing like in-ground gardening and you go to buy soil, buy soil for in-ground gardening. It's going to say that on the back of soil. If you're doing raised bed gardening, which just means you have a containing device like wood or like cinder blocks, buy soil for raised bed gardening. Again, it's going to say that on the label. I get asked this question so many times. The third thing is the best lighting conditions for growing jaman jama. Will the jaman jama do well in a shaded area or does it need full sun? So jaman jama can tolerate the shade but it likes full sun and by full sun we're talking about an area that gets at least six hours of direct sunlight in a day but if you have an area that does not get that much sun it can still grow but it will not do as well as when you have like full sunlight the fourth thing i want us to talk about is like the best temperature for growing jaman jama again it is a tropical vegetable and down there in the tropics it is usually warm we don't get temperatures dropping to freezing and so jaman jama will do well when it is warm and the best temperature that it likes is between 20 degrees celsius and 30 degrees celsius that's about 68 fahrenheit to about 86 fahrenheit so hardiness zones five to nine 
you know Jama Jama is going to do well in zones five to nine if you are further up north where it is colder you can control the temperature um, for you but just know that Jama Jama likes between 20 and 30 degrees um, Celsius to do well and the last thing I would like for us to talk about is the best way to water your Jama Jama the best way to water your Jama Jama is not too much do not overwater your jam and jamma. You want to give it just enough water, but not too much. If you overwater your jam and jamma, what will happen is you're going to drown the roots. The roots will suffocate. They will not get enough air, and you might end up like inadvertently killing your jam and jamma instead. So water regularly, maybe every other day, just give it enough water, and then wait, and then give it enough water. So it needs consistent watering but not over watering now here's your bonus tip and the bonus tip is about preventing curly leaves in your jamma jamma the curly leaf issue usually is because you have an ant problem in your garden the curly leaves are caused by aphids aphids are little insects that attack your jamma jamma they suck sap out of your jamma jamma causes the leaves to be curly and eventually will just destroy your jamma jamma that aphid problem is because you have an ant problem in the garden if you want to prevent curly leaves later take care of the ants problems like right now before you even start throwing the seeds in the garden so as you are preparing the garden to get ready for growing the jamma jamma if you see any ants in your garden like an ant hill make sure you take care of the ants right now like just figure out a way to get rid of the ants right now if you control the ants right now you're not going to get aphids and you are not going to get curly leaves so